Hi guys and welcome back to my channel and if you're new here my name is Emma or Emily, who's to say? And today I'm going to be telling you what I read in April, May. <laughs> I'll be going through what I read pretty quickly because I have some other stuff planned and I don't want this video to be too long. So I started off the month with the Percy Jackson and the Olympian series. This one has a bookmark in it because my little sister's reading it right now. I really enjoyed this series. It was very fun and I just, I enjoyed how it grows with Percy Jackson and it was just a very fun story to read. I gave The Lightning Thief four stars. I thought it was a really fun introduction and I really enjoyed the story. I gave Sea of Monsters four stars as well. I really enjoyed the story. I just wasn't quite as into it. I liked it a little bit less. I gave The Titan's Curse five stars. It was absolutely amazing. I loved it. I loved the hunters. I loved the D'Angelos and how they're put into the mix. I gave The Battle of the Labyrinth five stars as well. Enjoyed it a lot. I liked how much was going on when most of it took place in the labyrinth because having something take place in one sort of setting can be really hard to create a really good and really dynamic, uh, I almost said movie, book. <laughs> and finally I gave The Last Olympian five stars as well. I really enjoyed this one. I honestly love when you come to like the title point and you figure out why the title is what the title is and I just love that point and it was so good in this one too because it was so unexpected for me and it was just an amazing finale but overall I did really enjoy this series. The next book I read was The Road Not Taken by Robert Frost illustrated by Vivian Miniker. So this is basically a poem in book form and it's an illustrated book and even the side pages, what are they called? End pages? Totally forgot the name of them. But anyways, the illustration is so fun and it's very yellow of course because of the yellow wood but it's just it's really pretty i really enjoyed it and it is the same poem it's not like a different version it was good i enjoyed it i gave it five stars the next book i read was shadow and bone by lee bardugo i really enjoyed this one actually there were definitely some parts where i wasn't as much in love with it as i was six of crows but it's also very different even though it's the same author there are two very different things six of crows is more of a squad heist sort of thing and this is just like very independent I think and it's also more focused on a romance and I really got annoyed with her in the beginning when she was figuring out her powers and stuff like that and just how much she was doubting herself and just like certain things where she kind of started to slack off when she found some hope and it was just kind of you know but I did really enjoy it overall I thought it was well done and I definitely like Six of Crows more, but I still really enjoy this and I do want to read Ninth House at some point so I can get a very broad vision of Lee Bardugo's writing. And I gave this book four stars. The next book I read was Twilight by Stephanie Meyer. Um, I have a video up on this so I'm not going to go too in depth on it, but I enjoyed it. I gave it four stars. It was a fun read. It was problematic. The writing was not great. It wasn't good. It was, it was like at the good mark. Not like, it wasn't above good. It was just like at the good mark. <laughs> yeah, but I really enjoyed it. I thought it was fun. It was a fun story to read and I really liked how different it was from the movies and just how you got to see more, I guess. Next, I read Heartstopper Volume 1, 2, and 3. I loved these so much. I gave them all five stars. I love the representation in these and I love all of the different stories you get and then the little bonus stories at the end that follow different characters. It's just, it's so good and it's so sweet and lighthearted but still can get pretty heavy. And there's talk about a lot of different issues and it doesn't feel forced. It can seem kind of chaotic because so many things are happening to these people, but that's what life is like. A lot of shit happens to a lot of people and it was just so interesting and relatable to see all of it portrayed here. I just, I, it doesn't feel forced. It doesn't feel like we need to have these certain types of characters and we need to have these certain types of incidents happen. It's just, well done. I will say there's some talk about sexual harassment and eating disorders. I also really quickly want to say I read the first one and then I ordered the second two 
and when the second two finally came in I reread the first one so I read this one twice this month and I am so happy that I did. The last book I read this month was Harry Potter and I grabbed the wrong book. The last book I read this month was Harry Potter and the Goblet of Fire by J.K. Rowling. I've listened to it on audiobook and I really adore the audiobook. I just enjoy it a lot. It's so fun to reread these and have them here, you know? Yeah, so I enjoyed reading this. I gave it five stars again. It's yeah. <laughs> so that is all the books that I read in May, but before we click off, I'm going to talk a bit about some things that I think you should look into movie-wise and book-wise. If you want to be further educated on Black Lives Matter movement on just how you can help, I am white and I am definitely privileged and I just think it's really important to try and understand better what's going on and what you can do to help. I will leave the same link that I left down in my other video and I'll also leave links to these books and movies down below. So I'm going to be talking about some things that I have watched or read and some things that I haven't yet. The first one is The Help. I think this is a great movie and I watched it quite a long time ago but it's very well done overall and I just really enjoyed it. I thought it was a good movie and just solidly well done and it also is a book. I definitely recommend the movie if you don't want to read the book. The next movie is Hidden Figures. I thought this was also a really good movie. I love how informational it is in a in just a person's life sort of way. Like getting to see like she has to walk to a whole different side of the building or a whole different building to just go to the bathroom where she's allowed to go to the bathroom. I just think the movie overall is really well done. The next movie is American Sun and you can find this on Netflix. I recently watched this one and it was definitely a hard movie to watch. I didn't have trouble getting through it. It was just intense and it talked about so much and it was so good. And like I said with Battle of the Labyrinth, it takes place in mostly one space, mostly one room even. And with that, it is still able to build such an atmosphere and it has such a great dialogue in that there are just, it's conversations back and forth, it's fights, it's misunderstandings, it's privilege. So blatant. <laughs> and then the mom in the movie countering that and just really setting them straight. And then also certain ways where she's made certain assumptions. Every character in the movie, which there are like a total of four on-screen characters, every character is just so... It, they have such an important role in just representing people and I just think it's such a well-done movie and it's just, I just, I really recommend watching it. The last one is a TV show which is also on Netflix and that is Dear White People. Each episode follows a different person. I haven't finished the entire series but I am somewhere in the middle and it's a really good show. I'm really enjoying it and I just think it's very informational as well on different opinions of different people and you follow each different person's life and they're all black and they all have their different point of views and their different groups that they participate in. There's a bunch of different groups that they all sort of fall into and they all have different voices and they use them in different ways and it's just so interesting to see how they choose to say what they say. Yeah, so I just, I really recommend that show and Obviously, I can't recommend the whole series, but I can recommend what I have watched so far, and it's very well done. Four movies that I have not yet watched, but I do want to, is 13th. This one is on Netflix, and I do plan on watching it very soon. Just Mercy and Fruitvale Station both star Michael B. Jordan. I don't think they're on Netflix, but they might be on other platforms. And Clemency. I don't know a ton about each of these movies. Now for books, I'm currently in the middle of reading Me and White Supremacy. It's a 28 day sort of guide. I feel like guide isn't the right word. There are prompts basically, writing prompts. These are prompts that are there to make you think more about your privilege and how much you actually understand it, how much you really understand that you have privilege and that you're using your privilege and it's talking a lot about, it's not enough to just not be racist, you have to be anti-racist. And it's very interesting and the prompts are very thought-provoking and something that you don't really need to do just once. You can go through the book over and over again. You can do it every year, every month, whatever, because being anti-racist isn't only when it's on trend. 
it's all the time. And those are definitely exercises you can do all the time in order to continually educate yourself. The next book is The Poet X. If you've seen my TBR video, you'll know I planned on reading this for a readathon later in the month, but I changed my mind and decided to read it early. And I actually finished it later today, and it was unbelievably good. I love poetry in general. Overall, I just think it was really well done, and I just, <laughs> I really enjoyed it. I I felt so much from it. Um, I don't know how to like, I, I just finished it like less than an hour ago, and so I'm still kind of trying to piece together my thoughts, but I really, really enjoyed it and I highly recommend it and it's a great audiobook. Elizabeth Acevedo narrates it herself which is just I love it when authors narrate their books themselves because they just know exactly what words to put emphasis on and how they want to say things and I think it is so beautiful when you get that exactly. Um, I just I really enjoyed it. And next I'm going to talk about some books written by people of color that have come out this year and some of them are coming out a little bit later. I'll link them down below, of course, and I'll also let you know which month they came out in or are coming out in. And this is also still for like the first half of this year for the most part. Think Like a White Man by Boulay Whitelaw III and Nels Abbey, and this comes out in May. Such a Fun Age by Kylie Reed, and this comes out in January. Red at the Bone by Jacqueline Woodson, and this comes out in January. Love and Color by Bolu Babalula, and this comes out in July. How to Pronounce Knife by Suvankan Thamanvonska, and this comes out in April. The Gilded Ones by Namina Forna, and this comes out in July. The Vanishing Half by Britt Bennett, and this comes out in June. A Burning by Mega Majumdar, and this comes out in June. Take a Hint Danny Brown by Talia Hiver, and this comes out in June. The Boyfriend Project by Farah Roshan, and this comes out in June. Hunted by the Sky by Tanaz Bathina, and this comes out in June. That is the entire list that I have so far. There are many others. A lot of these were just ones that I was interested in and The Vanishing Half and A Burning I actually have on the way for Book of the Month and so I'm really excited to read those and I believe they also both follow LGBTQ themes so perfect for Pride Month as well. I hope you guys look into these recommendations and there are so many more movies and books that you can read. These are just a few. And like I said before, I will have all of it linked down below. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed the video. And if you did, please give this video a like and comment if you have any other books or movies that you would like to recommend. I would gladly take them and I would be happy for everyone else who reads the comments to see those as well. I hope you have a wonderful day. Stay safe, stay healthy. Bye.